my people, the APC, they have refused to rest. They have actually refused to allow the courts, I mean, the judiciary to take its course. So, Mr. Peter will be tweeted. You guys know him from the day one. He has been saying that before he can address you as his excellency, he must be sure that the way in which you arrive to you being addressed as the excellency is genuine, okay, that it is pure, which is the reason why he brought this case to the tribunal. So he made a twist. That twist, I went in search of it, but he has already deleted it. And meanwhile, I'll share the video here where Pa uh, Adibanjo also said that Tinubu cannot be regarded as his president because the way in which he is declared as a president is not genuine until proven otherwise by the court. Now, a proper fraction, they have come back again, saying that Peter, Peter Obi and the Paradivanjo, that what they are saying, that their statement is treasonable and that they should be answerable to the court, that the DSS should be sent to them to arrest them. <laughs> APC, nothing that the APC cannot do. I really don't get it. Like the APC are still, they're still fueling a proper fraction to continue terrorizing the Labour Party. But the thing is that the Labour Party has come to see because I really do not understand why Peter Obi is the one who is really bringing out the Labour Party since their existence. They have never been heard. Anyway, let me not talk too much, guys. Just Watch and hear for yourself. What is it that Paradevan just said, or Peter will be twisted, tweeted, that is far beyond what has been happening all this while? Ever since, in fact, before during the election, said, what is it that we have not seen? Guys, just watch this video. Much noise has been made on social media in the past week about the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi's decision to delete a post he made on Twitter in which he reportedly referred to Bola Tinubu as president. Reactions and counter-reactions to this may have also added fuel to the ongoing fire regarding the credibility or otherwise of Mr. Tinubu's current status as the occupant of Nigeria's number one political office, the presidency. Elder statesman Ayo Adebanjo has also shared his thoughts on the matter, stating within the week that Tinubu's acclaimed position is untenable and an illegality pending the ruling of the Presidential Election Petitions Court. Well, joining us uh, on the show to discuss the aforementioned issues as well as the current legal status of the party's faction to which he belongs is Dr. Abayomi Arabambi, a factional national publicity secretary of Labour Party. Uh, welcome uh, to the morning show. Uh, thank you for being here. So let's uh, go straight into it. I want to know what your reaction is to uh, pre uh, Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi's decision to delete a post that he made on Twitter in which he referred to Bola Tinubu as his president. How uh, significant do you think this incident is in the ongoing discussions about Tinubu's credibility and, of course, his status as the president of Nigeria with the back end, of course, the, with the current presidential election uh, tribunal that is going on right now? Uh, I, I need to, for benefit of the listener and Nigerians, uh, make certain clarification regarding the statement of uh, Mr. Peter Obi and Payo Adebanjo by saying that, uh, you know, uh, that statement is uh, treasonable because uh, it is an art by them to intimidate or, or cause an action to overthrow a city president as enshrined in Section 37.1 of the Criminal Code Act that anyone who levies war against the state in order to intimidate or overthrow the president or governor of the state is guilty of treason. Section 40 to 43 of the Criminal Code Act also state the instances why a person is deemed guilty of committing a treason and punishment prescribed for this offense is life imprisonment. For the two of them, they must be very careful because they are using the name of Labour Party to Nigeria and to the whole world to think, you know, we are planning, you know, to make Nigeria ungovernable. Number one, Pade Banjo is a functional leader of Alfeniferi. Why Mr. Peter B is just a nominal presidential candidate of our party. He did not have the authority of the party to begin to undermine the status of Mr. President. Yes, it's in the tribunal. I think he should wait. 
for the decision of the tribunal. Because when you approbate and reprobate, he never can say what will be the decision of the tribunal. Will it be at, you know, at that time, he will not be preaching peace to who? Nobody will listen to him. He has no right because the president has been sworn in by the chief judges of Nigeria in line with the constitutional provision. So when you now say you don't accept someone as a president, he might need to relocate out of Nigeria rather than for him to be undermining the constitution of Nigeria. And I also want to put it on record that before the last administration, most of this action had been taking place and nothing was done. I want to put the National Security Advisor on alert, the Inspector General of Police on alert, and the Director General of DSS. Labour Party had decided that these two people needed to be cautioned. They must invite them for interrogation. If they don't, we will go to court. Federal court has jurisdiction to hear mandamus. We will go to court to get a mandamus against the National Security Advisor, against the DSS, and against the regional police. Because it is not a good thing for you to just be planning to make Nigeria government. You can't be inciting Nigerians against a city president. Mr. I mean, the president, Bola Tinubu, has been sworn in as the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. We all need to respect that, rather than for us now to be making, you know, comments that are inimical to the progress of uh, our dear country. We have no country to go. People like us don't have anywhere to run to. People like them might have, you know, one or two countries to run to should there be war in Nigeria. We don't pray for such. Let us maintain decorum. Let us maintain peace. They are before the Legislative Petition Tribunal, and they must give them the room to, to make their decision. When they are not contented, you have a right to ventilate your anger and move upstairs to Supreme Court. And whatever Supreme Court decided is the final as far as election petition is concerned in Nigeria. That is our position on that. And we know that Peter Obi has also called for uh, peace from his uh, supporters. Now, you have been referred to as the uh, controversial or factional uh, national publicity secretary of the Labour Party. If I recall in December, you were sacked by the National Working Committee of your party as its acting National Publicity Secretary. Now, before we delve into uh, further questions, what is your position in the party as we speak? The Lagos State uh, chapter of the Labour Party has also asked that you and a Samuel Akingbade should stop parading yourselves uh, as members of the party because you know, you're moving around the election petition tribunals, especially in Lagos State, to derail the chances of the Labour Party. Now, also last week, uh, where is Lamidia Papa was trending. Uh, can you share his position? I believe uh, that there was a Bielsa judgment affirming him as your party's national chairman. Well, thank you very much. Uh, as far as Labour Party is concerned today, we have only one national chairman, which, first of all, on the 5th of April, when the court restrained Aburi and three others from parading themselves as national officers. Then, on the 12th of May, their primary objection to that suit was dismissed in its entirety by the FCTI court. And what you know a preliminary objection is, a preliminary objection is you to abate or to kill a substantive suit. One preliminary objection is dismissed. You have lost it all, you have to go to appeal. And as I speak, the appeal is coming up Tuesday in Abuja. So once you appeal against a decision, they were the appellant, we are not the appellant. We are the respondent. Once Aburi has filed an appeal, it means that the decision of the court to restrain him subsists. That is number one. Number two, we went, they went to Asaba to go and conduct what I will call a wadakeri keri, you know, kind of neck. Because he has been restrained, this was where he was making all manner of suspension with Mr. Peter B and the rest of them. And I am surprised that a man that was restrained will still go to Asaba. Why you are under a court injunction, you went to Asaba. But we didn't give a damn about it. They proceeded on the 15th to go and conduct their primary. And after they are done, we made sure they wasted their money. We went to federal. Then we even were the one that went to court because... Our lawyer wrote to INEC informing them about one, the subsisting order of the FCTI court that Abure, whatever he does, 
primary or not, should not be recognized. It was at the point of INE recognizing that, that one of their candidates that, that participated in the primary of Abure on the 15th went to federal court to worry. And the court, in their judgment, delivered on the 18th you know, of June, stated clearly that for any primary conducted by Abure who have been restrained by a court of competent jurisdiction and that restraining order had not been set aside by the court of appeal, every of their candidates they pick from Imo, Bayesa, and Kogi, they are null and void. And the court now affirm our own national working committee, led by Laji Lamidia Papa, as the authentic that INEC should be dealing with. And that's what and that was the status quo. So for anybody to not be saying, oh, they want to be suspended or not, it is just, you know, a matter. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to deal with because we are before a court and they have also appealed on the 6th of July. Abure has filed an appeal against that judgment of the federal court. So when you are an appealant before a court, you can be parading yourself as officer of that party. That is the situation. As we speak, Alain Lamide Ababa and my own self remain the public secretary of the Labour Party and Alain Lamide Ababa remain the national chairman. Akin Bade remain the national legal advisor. It's not for any other person to now be appropriating and reprobating. They are not the law. We have a court in Nigeria that have given three, we have three judgment now in our favor that they have appealed. And we will meet them up on Tuesday. One is coming up, you know, for determination. All right, uh, Mr. Rabambi, um, I would just like you to uh, clarify for us uh, what you meant uh, by Mr. Peter Obi being a nominal presidential candidate, uh, which was this, you know, very language that you used earlier uh, while speaking with you. You said it was just a nominal presidential candidate and that he should be invited by the DSS. Uh, for what precisely, maybe you need to clarify, because for... Uh, all, all we know is that he uh, um, uh, made a reference to the sitting president and then deleted his, his tweet. He hasn't done anything beyond deleting a tweet on his own personal page that he has done. So the follow-up question to that, after your clarification, would be to know, is there a problem between your good self and the candidate, the presidential candidate of your party, who, as we know, got more than 6 million votes for the Labour Party. First time ever. Uh, as you will know, in uh, the 2019 elections, Labour uh, couldn't even get up to 10,000 votes nationally at the presidential election. But here you are, you have a, form, a, a presidential candidate winning about 12 states or thereabout, more than 6 million uh, votes nationally. Uh, one state, Abia, you know, as far as governorship election is concerned, uh, scores of House of Representatives members and a couple of senators. But here you are saying that it was just a nominal presidential candidate and I should be invited by the D DSS. What is the problem that you have with Mr. Peter Obi? Well, I see that in my capacity as a president of the Labour Party. I have no personal problem with him. And I also want to let Nigeria know that the former <clears throat> deputy senate president of the the last uh, National Assembly, Ovi Omegege, was elected on the platform of the Labour Party before it defected. We have a uh, NASA of rep in 2019 from Benue State. We have, we have a governor in the Labour Party before now. We have senator, we have House of rep. So it is not a question of anybody telling us that, oh, Obi came to give life to the Labour Party. He only came to awaken you know, this, the, the docility in Nigeria that have an issue doesn't have interest in going for election. But that will not be a reason for him to conduct himself outside our party constitution. Now, what do I say is a nominal <clears throat> presidential candidate? I am on live television. I said, and I've been saying it before now, that all through our campaign, Obi never campaigned for Labour Party. I, I stand to be corrected. Obi never campaigned for any candidate of Labour Party. Anywhere. It is all about him, about him. If I what well, he was corrected that I started mentioning that he. It is all about him. And I want to remember one of your sister sessions, a woman challenged him about you know, his conduct during the governorship election. He said, We have a bunch of candidates that, that have no character, that are no competent, and therefore he is endorsing 
the PDP governorship candidate in Enugu. He did so in Neboyin, in so many other states. So a person like that cannot be seen as a full-fledged member of the Labour Party because he only came about himself and himself alone. And I've said before, there was not a single poster. There was not a single vehicular support. Not one was sectarian. Local government sectarian was procured by our president candidate. Everything we did on our own. So for him now to be making reference that our, the president that has been sworn in is not the president, is treasonable. Then, Payade Banjo to said, oh, the government of uh, uh, President Parliament Tinubu does not exist or, or is an Ill Ill illegitimate. It's also treasonable because it is only court that can determine who is a legitimate owner, you know, occupier of a position and who is a legitimate person, who is not, who is the illegitimate person. It is not within the ambit of your own discussion. All right, Mr. Say, oh, the government is legitimate or you refer to we, someone at present and you now, I mean, you, you decide to demarcate okay. it. Okay, all right. Wrong. We, we really have to go, but just before we go in 10 seconds, uh, do you still have faith uh, in the tribunal, in the case that your party and the candidate of your party uh, have in the, in the tribunal? It's a yes or no uh, uh, answer, if you don't mind. Well, for us, uh, the, the deed has been done uh, by him. Uh, the party was not part of what he's doing there, but we will abide by whatever decision, you know, the president, uh, president Paduna, whatever decision they take, we are going to abide by it.